Imagine you're standing in Patagonia today. The cold wind whistles through the rocky mountains, golden grass swaying, peaceful to the point of being sleepy. But now, let's rewind time, 100 million years. The air suddenly becomes hot and humid, ancient trees towering to the sky, the ground shaking with each step. Boom. Boom. If you think those footsteps belong to T-Rex, sorry, you've got the wrong continent. This is South America. And the real king here doesn't have its own movie. No, T-shirts. No million follower fan club. Its name is Giganotosaurus, 12 to 13 meters long, weighing seven to eight tons, and completely indifferent to Hollywood fame. T-Rex has Jurassic Park, basketball logos, even grumpy emojis. And Giga? Just a few archeologists and a tiny corner on Reddit. How to put it, like the super huge cousin that no one remembers the name at family gatherings. Today, we're going to fix that injustice. Get ready, because in the next 10 minutes, you'll see Giga hunting giant sauropods, standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with T-Rex, and even imagine it appearing on Argentina's highways today. Ready? Let's go. First, let's put this monster on the scales for clarity. Length, 12 to 13 meters. Height when head raised, nearly seven meters. 7,000 to 8,000 kilograms. That's heavier than three African elephants combined. Skull nearly two meters long, meaning if you lie down, it's about your height plus your head. In other words, if Giganotosaurus were alive and decided to move to the city, you couldn't fit it in a three five square meter apartment, unless the apartment was it. To visualize, it's almost as long as a city bus, plus the hood, and weighs 40 times your car. On the dinosaur final boss leaderboard, Spinosaurus wins for overall length, T-Rex for bite force. And Giga? Giga is the best long boy of all South America, stunning from head to tail. Welcome to late Cretaceous Patagonia. About 97 to 98 million years ago, the climate was much warmer than today. Tropical rainforests, crisscrossing rivers, and herds of giant sauropods lumbering around grazing like they're at a supermarket. Imagine you're a daredevil cameraman, sneaking through the ancient forest, giant insects buzzing, leaves rustling. Then suddenly, everything goes silent. A massive shadow glides through the canopy. You hear heavy breathing, footsteps lightly shaking the ground. This tour doesn't come with insurance, you know, because no company would sign a contract with clients at risk of turning into premium protein in three seconds. Welcome to Jurassic. Wait. No. Cretaceous Patagonia, where everything wants to eat you, and the biggest one is watching from afar. Giganotosaurus isn't just big, it's built to kill. Long skull, a bit lighter than T-Rex, but compensated with serrated teeth up to 20 centimeters long. Blade-shaped, specialized for slashing and tearing. Not crushing bones, super thick neck, insanely strong muscles. Just one jerk, and it rips off a chunk of meat, weighing hundreds of kilos. Body more slender than T-Rex, long legs. Some models calculate it could hit top speeds of about 50 kilometers per hour in short bursts, enough to catch a panicking prey. And the brain? Larger than average for big theropods, meaning it's not the muscle over mind. Stereotype many joke about. For fun, if T-Rex is an industrial bone crusher, then Giga is like a butcher with an extra long cleaver. No need to crush, just slice big chunks and eat. And those famous tiny arms? Don't ask if it can clap. It's busy with legs and jaws already. How does Giganotosaurus hunt? Solo or pack attack? Science is still cheerfully debating, but there's a big hint. They found bones of Maposaurus, a close relative of Giga, all in one spot. Multiple individuals of all ages. That suggests pack hunting is highly likely. Picture this, a herd of giant sauropods on the move. A young Giga acts as bait, herding the prey toward two adults lying in wait. 
Then suddenly, a lightning fast charge, biting straight into the flank, blood spraying, the prey roaring in pain. The third one blocks the escape route, and here, the classic neck jerk. Half a ton of meat torn clean off. A soccer commentator would yell, too beautiful. Giga number 10, masterpiece. If it could go on TikTok, the caption would be, teamwork makes the dream work, and the sauropods stop working forever. The eternal question on the internet, would Giga beat T-Rex? While netizens argue fiercely, scientists quietly measure femurs, scan skulls, build 3D models. Latest results from 2024 to 2025, T-Rex still champs bite force, nearly 60,000 newtons, enough to crush a car. Giga only around 30 to 35,000 newtons, but faster bites, deeper slashes. Some lower jaw samples are 8% larger than the original, meaning there were supersized individuals, possibly 14 meters long, nearly 10 tons. YouTube comment section would explode. Team T-Rex, Team Giga Longer. The truth is, neither wants to meet you. Rest easy. Imagine a beautiful morning in Patagonia, drone flying over the fields, filming a herd of 500 cows. Then the next day, only 450 left. No carcasses found, just footprints as big as bathtubs. A Giga casually crossing Route 40, container truck screeching to a halt, driver live streaming. Mom, there's a dinosaur. The Argentine government rushes to establish Giganotosaurus National Park, tickets $200 each, with warnings no small dogs. Car insurance adds a new clause. Collision with carnivore over eight tons, 20% surcharge. Good news, it couldn't enter cities. Bad news, Argentina's entire livestock industry is about to go bankrupt. Giganotosaurus vanished about 90 million years ago, perhaps due to climate change, giant prey going extinct, or simply time for someone else to take the throne. Even the ultimate apex predator isn't immortal. Today, those massive bones lie quietly in museums, and we stand gazing, in fear, in pity, in awe. In a few dozen million years, will some other species stand before our fossils and wonder, were these once the rulers? The answer depends on us today. And now, thanks for watching episode one. Next episode, we'll meet an even weirder predator, one that walks and swims like a fish, Spinosaurus. Hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you don't want to be eaten by Giga. See you soon.